And Top Story is always brought to you by Vodafone. Now, the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment is tonight alarmed by evidence that more basic schools are resorting to unapproved test books due to government's failure to supply them with a full complement of approved test books. It has been four years since the new curriculum was approved for use in schools across the country. But Joy News is learning tonight that despite several assurances, schools still lack the full complement of the books. This revelation came to light during a tour by officials of NACA uh, to some basic schools in Accra uh, to assess and scrutinize proposed textbooks for these institutions. Now, the Director General of NACA, Professor Edward Apia, says it's unacceptable for teachers to use unapproved books when the recommended textbooks have been procured by government. Of course, there was one or two teachers who were using some books which were not approved. But they, it was for the teachers. They said that they are using it to help in their preparatory, which is fine. And so we encourage teachers, even parents, to make sure that the books that are being used, they check to, be, to see whether surely it has been approved or not. The ones that uh, they are not in, and as I, I just indicated, you know, the minister have tax NACA to get the data for every school, especially now that we are doing NST, we've been doing P6, we've been doing DHS. We need to have the data so that it can be used to do the distribution because it's it's sad when the materials have been procured, the testimony have been procured, yet the schools think that they don't have them. And the minister is worried and he has tax. Even it's, it's an adult tax, but we'll make sure that we get the data so that the supplies will go directly to the schools and we'll cut short these issues of we don't have them, even though it's been supplied. Well, the head teachers themselves are now confirming right in front of the NACA uh, officials that indeed they have received some of the textbooks, but they are not the full complement. It's not the full complement. It's just not enough what they have, uh, compelling them to find ingenious ways of teaching these children. Take a listen to the head teacher of Manchataki One Primary, Belinda Dede Sefako. In a way, I would say yes, um, because the children need it to, at least when they see pictures of um, things, it will help them. When they see the pictures and they are able to read to, it helps them. The teachers jot down a few points for them, but if they have their books, it will help them. Um, the curriculum started in 2019. It was simple. Yes, we've had this challenge, but they've solved it to a point. So, with, by providing some of the books for us last year. Um, the other three have not been provided so, at, all. at all, yes. My colleague Jacqueline was with the NACA officials when they went around. She's in the studio with me. How many schools did you visit and what more did you learn? All right. So we visited four schools, namely Manchetaki Schools and Calvary Methodist School and Amugi Cluster of Schools and St. Paul's Lutheran School. Um, some of the teachers indicated that they had to resort to the internet to download learning materials because um, they do not have the approved test books. And they also use references in the curriculum to download the materials. Okay. I wonder what the response was from NACA because they were discovering this themselves while on the ground. All right. So um, he admitted that um, some of the teachers were using unapproved test books, um, but was quick to add that the practice was unhealthy. Um, he also warned that NACA will soon crack the whip to flush out publishers and um, printing unauthorized books in the market. So let's take a listen to that. Now, our ally which is currently with the Attorney General's Department working on and will be placed in, <clears throat> in Parliament very soon, has now given us the power. Once it passes, which we hope it will be passed very soon, of course, our uh, Parliamentary Select Committee on Education are even etching that the document comes before them so that they quickly pass. And then it will give us that uh, power and emboldenment to punish because we've prescribed some punishment in. Beyond that, of course, if we find out that the publisher has violated the uh, rules and he has conducted, misconducted himself or herself. We'll just have to blacklist the publisher and we will announce that and you, you, you'll be shamed. So basically these are some of the things. Even though currently we will not even have what it takes to punish you. I think that by the mere mentioning of the publisher and his infractions is good enough. 
I want to bring in the president of the Ghana Publishers Association, Asari Konedu Yamwa, joins us on the line right now. Mr. Yamwa, why are you flooding our schools with test books unapproved by the sole agency mandated to do so? Thank you, Eva, and good evening to your listeners. I, I, I want to believe that uh, NACA, if you have gone further extensively, will have admitted that if there are any books that are in the system, that, to, so to speak, are unapproved. It is their own doing. NACA lacks the capacity to assess and approve test books in the country. They don't have enough assessors. They are under-resourced. And therefore, as we speak currently, they are supposed to roll out the uh, common core test books. And as we speak, publishers have developed test books for the junior high schools we are unable to send those books to the school because NACA is not working. So if NACA, you said NACA that is that not working, unapproved in the system, sometimes we like an every investor and there is a regulator, and that regulator is unable to articulate or more or less do his or her work. What do you expect the business person to do? But you make a very strong accusation that NACA is not working. I am putting this on record. That NACA currently is not working. And no explain when you say it's not working, NACA. what do you mean? Excuse me. When you say NACA is not working, what do you mean? I mean NACA currently is not assessing books. You see, uh, the uh, the DG spoke about their ally, which is before the AG and all that. Before NACA can go ahead to assess and undertake its mandate, that ally must be passed by parliament. Because that is the enabling legislation that will empower NACA to do all that the law has asked them to do. Without that, NACA cannot work. And that is exactly what is happening at NACA. And they do not have the resources to be able, because by now, I don't know whether they are training adequate assessors. You see, formally, we have issues with the way they, they, they have they assess the books. You can't just invite any other person for the fact that that person teaches English, mathematics, and that you think that that person can be an assessor. Assessment of books is a skill, and NACA must train dedicated assessors. We did the system. Mr. Yamwa, as, assuming what you say is true, that NACA isn't working, is that your excuse for putting on the market ending schools? No, I, I, am yet to, I am yet to get any evidence from, from the NACA that publishers are putting on approved textbooks in the, in the system. But they found so, some so today. They, fa they found some today. They, they found some today. We were with them in the school when they found some of so, the books you see, there. Evans, what they need to do is to let us know the publisher that is, in charge, is, is doing those books, that, so to speak, as, as is unapproved by NACA. Because so far as we, we speak, the books that they are in the system are the basic books, primary one to six books, that have been approved by NACA. As I said, we are still waiting for NACA to approve or assess and approve books for junior high schools. So if NACA indeed went around and they saw books that are unapproved, NACA should be able to come out with a statement indicating or uh, uh, listing the publishers whose books they found, which have not been approved by NACA. Uh, stay with me, Mr. Yama. Stay with me. Uh, because we need to really also explore why, after four years, we still do not have the full complement of the test books, which is really at the heart of the problem, uh, forcing the teachers to go out there, some of them, to get what they can find, approved or not, to help the children in school. Thankfully, uh, Director General of NACA, uh, Professor Edward Apia, uh, joins us now. Prof, the president of the Ghana Publishers Association is clear that what you found today, the unapproved test books in some of the schools, is because you have failed to work. You aren't working. You lack the capacity. And that is why what you found today actually exists. You accept that NACA has failed or is failing? Ivan, thank you very much. And good evening. Uh, first of all, we decided to visit these schools, and all the schools that we visited were basic schools, primary, lower primary, upper primary. As we speak, even if you go 
on our website. NACA has approved not less than 1,200 books for these primary schools, including supplementary material. Now, if the president is saying that NACA has not approved the books, which book did the government procure for the schools? You see, <clears throat> we, we, we don't want to have any confrontation with publishing. All that we are interested in, the books that are being used, are they approved or not? What kind of gimmicks or marketing gimmicks are they using? We went, and your reporters were there, we went to the schools. We saw the government approved textbooks being provided. Indeed, there were some schools that, and your, 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 your reporter can attest to it, a class of maybe 35. We could see two people using one book, and then we asked, do you have enough? They said, yes, we've, given, we've divided it into two, and they are using half. We agree that it will not get spoiled, so that if some gets spoiled, they replay it. And I said, how? <laughs> the policy is that you should have every chance you have one. If the president is saying that NACA is not working, so you uh, Ivan, the books that the Ivan, students are using. Respectfully, Ivan. I so want let, to, let, let I want to it, come in here, Ivan. Please. Mr. Yama, just a second. Mr. Yama, just a second. With you, we are still even assessing books. You know, when <clears throat> we came on the scene, there were a couple of materials that have been sent for NACA to approve. We realized that we need to sanitize the system and make sure that we get things right. Of course, I had an interaction with the uh, publishers, and I told them that, please give us some space. We will want to sanitize the system. I can speak with you now. They were not even trained as to how to even write uh, standard basics. And I told them, if we don't take care, we'll go back to the objective base, which we don't want to be. We've moved on. Well, it's, it's not your fault. Somehow, we also said the blame. We needed to build their capacity. We have done this. Together with British Council, we trained authors, publishers, and writers on two occasions. Akira Kumase, we've trained them on how to write standard-based material, after which we have taken time to assess all the books that have been there. So, 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 Prof, Prof, and let, we, let, we let. go and we see, look at it, we saw a book which they said based on GES standard curriculum. What is GES standard curriculum? And then they will put NACA uh, uh, logo beside it. You, you mean they are engaging, they are also engaging in fraud because this is fraudulently presenting a oh, book. And, and your reporters were there. You could see clearly some of them. And these are primary Schools. But but prof, but so prof, you, you, you say so who, are, are you, you have you are prof let, let's drill down a bit more. The, yes. There are books before you currently. Yes. Are you assessing these books and you're doing it in a timely manner, considering the constraints that you found in the schools? Look, we've have, I would approve assess and approve over thousand two hundred. When when was the yes. last when was the last time you had yes. an approval or Even rejection? Today, today, today I've signed some books that have been assessed, they have brought to and then I came from the third. I came to find a pile of letters which has given <coughs> were given to me to sign for publishers to come for them. I've signed them today. We are assessing, we are approving. So if they say we are not working, what does he want us to do? That's <laughs> our mandate. That's what we are here to do. And we are doing it because we know time is of essence. But you see, what we don't want is that if the book is not as approved, it has not been brought for assessment for approval. Don't add any gimmick and say NACA approved curriculum. Or okay, uh, Prof, stay with me. Let me bring in Mr. Mr. Amma, you've had him. He says 1,200 books approved so far. Even today, he signed books and approved them. Yeah, Ivan, you see, I, I do not want to contest what you say, but what I want to make emphatically clear is that. So long as my members are concerned, we have submitted our books to NACA, and they have been approved by NACA. The subject matter for which some of the books were bought by the ministry, you go to the private schools, publishers are, are submitting, they are sending their books to the schools, approved by NACA. That was why I made that last statement, that if NACA has gone out and found books that are unapproved, I am expecting NACA to produce the list of the publishers who are doing that illegal uh, sales. 
I am not saying that NACA has not approved books. We started this program since 2018, 2019, 2020. They have approved books. NACA, if I would say NACA is not working, Professor Pierre should understand that by his own letter he submitted to association to his administrative members sometime last year or so, that they are working to regularize the system and therefore they suspended assessment of books. When was this? When, when, when was this? Last year. Yeah, but, but last year, the, the, but, but, but last year anyway. we are in August but now. So if, they would have if, regularized if, this by now. If, uh, if I'm saying NACA is not working, uh, the letter you brought to us, you are not working. No, but, 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 but Mr. Yama, Mr. Yama, let's put that in context. Yes. This letter was last year. We are in August. Have you checked? No, I, I have no problem with that. If you have, if NACA has resumed assessment of books, what stops NACA, that same NACA, in bringing a letter to us that they have started assessing books and therefore we can submit our works? What stops NACA from doing that? If Professor Pierre today is telling me that they are assessing books, they are approving textbooks, so is it, is it discretionary or what? If you have started working, bring a letter to us indicating that you have started working. We should, we should send our words to you. But you can't tell us that we should suspend uh, sending our uh, books to NACA for assessment, whilst at the same time you are telling me that as, as you, you started working. Um, Eva, pro, 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 how, do you, pro, how do you place these two scenarios? Professor Pia, isn't that a fair point? You wrote to them to say you've suspended. You haven't written back to tell them that that suspension has been lifted. <clears throat> Eva, I don't think we have to uh, do banter with this. I can give you evidence of letters that we wrote and we say people should start submitting now. If in fact, if you go onto our website, we even publish this and we in, <coughs> ask people to submit their books. We even want, we are even doing online and within the online submission, we have even given time or we are given space where if even you go online and you have challenges, you can still even bring it and we can assess it. Maybe he's not privy to it, but others have done that. Yeah, Professor Apia, so, fundamentally, it's been four years since your curriculum that was designed was approved. How come today we still have schools without the full complement of the test books? And this is, this is one of the <clears throat> difficulties that we are in the minister is even worried that after supplying all these books, still people say they don't have the books. And our task now is to make sure that we get the numbers of all the schools and the students so that in supplying, we can go directly to the school so that we'll cut off this aspect of, oh, we sent, but we have not received. The minister is worried about this. So, 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 where, so where's the bottleneck? Yep, the minister claims to you that all the test books have been printed and sent out. But you met teachers who are now using unapproved test books and they are using online materials unapproved because they tell you they don't have the full complement. Ivan, I'm not against a teacher who wants to do research or further research to show up his or her activity by going online to look for resource material. I'm not against that. The teacher if he has the capacity, he can do that. But what we are against is to use that book, which is not approved, for the child. Okay, but, 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 I, I, need, but I need, but I need, I need clarity, Prof. I need clarity. We've talked about that extensively. I need clarity. Are you saying tonight on authority that as we speak right now this evening, the education ministry has ensured that all the test books needed in the right quantities have been printed and sent out to all schools across the country and they have the full complement available. Ivan, you were here when the ministry procured books and supplied to the various schools. And we now hear people don't have books. As I visited today, I, and I'm telling you, your writers, your, your reporters are there. We went to school, they were using books, and I asked, do you have all the books? Then they gave me the list. But then I even realized that Two people were using one book. Then I asked, how come that two students are using one book? And they said, oh, we've intentionally divided the book into two and we've kept some so that if these go bad, we'll bring the, those ones out. But and we've been, <laughs> I wasn't happy about that. So what, the schools are holding what? the test books? Yes. You see, what, there, there, there's something that we all need to 
final. And that is one of the things that the minister have taxed NACA to do that. See, you are doing it, you are picking data. Go beyond the P2, P4. Get me all the other classes. And let me see the number of students in every school so that I can say, okay, uh, school A, we supply 35 books. Yes, they said they don't have it. How much was supplied to them? 32. Then we can confidently say that. As we speak now, we, the ministry has supplied the books. Yes, students, school says they are not getting it. And that is one again, of the again Prof, you, you said the ministry has supplied the books. I want to repeat my question. Have they supplied all the books, all the subjects you approved? All subjects that have come to me, as far as NACA is concerned, we've approved them. And does that, and does that constitute full complement of what is required in this class? Yes. All subjects that NACA have developed, I can tell you of a fact that all subjects that NACA has developed have received books with on those subjects and have assessed them and have proved them. Okay, but that's the, that, that's the first step. So, so uh, just, a just a second. So you've approved. You, so have so you have... One of the things prof, that prof, it's important to clarify this. So you have approved all, but do you know if what you've approved have indeed been printed and sent out to the schools? I will not be able to do that because and one of the things that I'm supposed to do is to check the numbers that we are having. Because I'm not, NACA does not procure books, NACA does not print the books. But we, we approve all subjects that we have developed as far as this curriculum is concerned. Please stay with me. Uh, I, uh, the Ghana Publishers Association president is still with me, Asari Kondodu Yama. Ms. Emma, you print the books. Have you received the contracts and have you executed them for the printing of all the test books under this new curriculum? Yeah, thank you, Ivan. I, I think that uh, when uh, Dr. Pierre should not go very far, at the ministry, they have their figures. When you take the student enrollment, the publisher. when you look at the most of them, you will realize that the ministry bought 48% of the book requirement. That is why when Dr. Pierre went to the schools, the children were not having one-to-one -one textbook. The ministry was unable to procure hundred percent, which means every child must have one textbook. Okay, so so so, so, so let's clarify. You're saying that only forty-eight percent of the books were procured by the education ministry. That leaves no, fifty-two percent. No, yes. Even get this right. Yes. When I went, uh, to pro, no, professor, to professor, to professor. Uh, I, 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 so I, hello, I hello, professor. Amma, just stay with me. Professor, Amma, stay with me. I have the figures of the contract of the textbooks that were given by the to the publishers. When you use your own student uh, people enrollment, you will realize that your books that you procured was not enough to give every child a textbook. book. So you, by your own way, the teachers were telling you that they've, 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 they've uh, kept some of their books and are asking children, two children or two people to use one textbook. How can that happen? When the objective of the government is to procure one textbook per child for each subject. So how do, how do you reconcile this? So, and I'm telling you that the numbers, the procurement that you procured, when you compare that with the, uh, the people enrollment at the juniors, the procurement constituted about 48%. And, and why, uh, why would I lie? Uh, <laughs> and Mr. Yama, for the 48% that they procured, have they paid you? They've not paid. For two years now, we've been chasing payment. It's not been paid. You see, these are the frustrating issues that sometimes we go through and uh, compare, uh, uh, compounded with NACA's, NACA's own challenges. You, 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 you bought books. Also, you asked us that we should supply. We were even asking for mobilization. The ministry said that we should supply. Immediately you supply and submitted your SRAs. You are going to pay. Now we are in the second year and the payment has not been done. Even we are not even sure who is paying us. Professor Apia, that's the evidence there. Forty-eight percent is what has been bought. Evans, let me let me come back again. The essence of this exercise was to check the kind of books that are being used in the schools. Of course, we didn't even go only to the public schools. We even went to private schools, and I can tell you, even the private schools where it is not 
government that supplied. We even saw some books that were being used, yet they were not uh, approved books. Are they telling us that those ones also, uh, we had to give them to the students? All that we are saying is that my duty or NACA's activity is to make sure that approved textbooks are the ones that are being used in the school. And indeed, um, I can even say that probably Mr. Yamwa, who is heading or who is the president of Publishers, might not probably be in the know of some of the books that are being used because the people who printed them might not be part of his uh, Pro- Professor Pia, but, Professor Pia, Professor Pia, he, he, he stated the source of information. He says the education ministry, he's told us how much his members printed and compared to the Roman. Have you checked this with the education ministry? Evans, I am within the education ministry. I'm in the education ministry. NACA's mandate is to make sure that books that are being used in the schools are approved books. And we should be sure that, yes, they are safe. I went to a school, the teachers have, the children are using books, approved books all right. Two children are using one. I asked, have you received all the, the books for this? They said yes. No, but, but, that, but you've said, you've said that before, but that is anecdotal. I said it's anecdotal. It doesn't so give you any clue what think, the reality is. For where I think, I know the schools have received the books. If they are not distributing all of them, it is for the teachers to start bringing out the books. As to whether others have received or not, that is also a different thing. Yeah, I mean, but, but you said to me just a short while ago when I asked you if you can vouch that all the books have been printed and sent out, that that is not your mandate, so you will know. Your mandate is limited to approval and assessment of curriculum. So you're not in a position to know. That's the fact, is it not? To help us, to flash out people who are selling books or sending books to the schools that are not approved. I believe this is the discussion that we've even had. I know I I I said something. I am saying that so far as our members are concerned, we've complied with the directive that we submit our books to NACA for assessment and approval. Now you've gone round, you've seen unapproved books. Prof, I'm asking that you make your report public. Publish the list of publishers you found whose books have not been approved. That will help our both of us to also make sure that we sanitize the, the, the market or okay. the system. Okay, uh, gentlemen, thank you very much. And uh, as we've just been listening there to the National Curriculum uh, Agency on this particular matter, they are pursuing action on the books that they found. I'm grateful, sir, uh, for your time here on Top Story. And you've listened there to the president of the publishers of the Ghana Publishers Association, Asari Kunudu Yamwa, and also the head of NACA, and that is the Curriculum and Assessment Body, official body for the state, Professor Edward Apia. Uh, shortly, we'll hear from the biggest teacher union. What is the national picture as far as the test book situation is concerned? We'll get a picture from there. You want to stay with us for that, and I want to hear from you also. News Night starts now.